Okay, fine, he has a true point. But anyways, hey folks, it's me, M64Bros. And there is some positive sides for the upcoming Indiana Jones 5. Although some people, although Harrison Ford was a little bit injured, but I'm hopefully he'll be alright. But yeah, the director, sure some people are still pissed off at him for the whole tweet quote, but yeah. However, there is still some positive sides about it. At least it's being produced by Steven Spielberg. At least that's a good sign. I've looked through almost one of his movies and a tiny there are a few movies I got some bad reviews, but other but his other movies were kick ass. Especially Logan. That movie was a masterpiece. Even though I never saw it, I only saw the clips. Let's just say Dark Phoenix never existed. So yeah, I've looked through some of his movies, and the making of Logan, and by the looks of it, I think, yeah, he's, there, like, I know there's some, like, by the looks of it, I don't know, where is it, Call of the Wild, yeah, he has some gold within him, like, his, the reviews for his videos are, for his movies are very good, are very good, so yeah. So, there is hope for Indiana Jones 5, like, I'm gonna be real with you guys, I'm excited to see this film too, like, I just hope it doesn't, I just really, really hope it doesn't get screwed up or destroyed, just like The Rise of Skywalker, and hey, this is Harrison Ford's last film, so we gotta give it some credit, so yeah, okay, there is one satisfying thing that is satisfying about the director, he's not a big fan of the MCU either, him, and Zack Snyder and the other directors despise the MCU. One of the producers said it makes you feel like a brainless ape. And to that, these directors, including him, have a strong point. Sure, the MCU started off strong, but some people were starting to like feel like it's no longer fun anymore. I mean, no offense, they did have some good movies. The only movies... Me and Seth are excited about our Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange the, in the Multiverse of Madness, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Those aren't the only movies we're excited about. And yeah, I... These were the movies before Disney bought Marvel. Spider-Man Homecoming was a masterpiece. And let's just say that it all ended perfectly with Endgame. Well, at least we're excited for Spider-Man. One other thing. I heard Captain Marvel got some bad reviews. Yeah, basically... So, here's the thing. After Avengers Infinity War, there was a post credit scene that had Captain Marvel's logo on Nick Fury's... Nick Fury's phone, whatever you call it. And, yeah... His backstory and how Nick Fury got that eye patch was pretty hated. Rather than getting his eye brutally damaged during the war, some kind of cat of her scratched it. <clears throat> <laughs> the reviews are very, very frustrating. Some Marvel fans don't like this actor, and I don't like her either. She wants everything in her bare hands. She wants to be the most powerful Jedi in Star Wars. She wants her character to become super powerful. She wants it all. Also, how the hell does she have her own YouTube channel? Alright, back to Indiana Jones 5. Okay, Indiana Jones 5 sounds like an exciting film, but I just don't want it to fail. If it succeeds, we respect it. So yeah. Hope you guys are excited about Indiana Jones 5. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace out.